going to talk about a summer meal planning schedule for lunches. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a summer schedule for Casa de Ridgway. We are going to talk about a menu plan for the summer. It is much different than the regular school year, especially now with my husband back at work and both kids home every single day. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you so much for everyone who supports me each and every day. For those that view, even if you're not subscribed, thank you. Maybe this will be the video you'll finally subscribe to my channel. My subscribe guy just popped up and he's directing you to like this video. So go ahead and smash that like button. He's also telling you to click on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell because YouTube will notify you when I upload more videos. And let's get into the video. Those of you who follow me every day, this is my menu board. You've seen it before. For those of you who are new, I use a dry erase board to plan my dinners. We are planned up until the 10th of July. So that is a lot of nights where I don't have to worry about what's for dinner for my family. And we do switch it around quite a bit here and there. And it's never set in stone. I'm going to be adding lunches to this board to make meal time for lunches a lot easier. After July 10th, my teen will be working at our library Monday through Friday. And they will need to bring a lunch and a snack with them every single day to work. And my youngest will be home every day in between friends' houses, sleepovers, and activities at the library. They didn't want to go to camp this year, and I wasn't going to make them. So I'm going to be planning lunches for Jacqueline and Isabel. My husband is fairly easy. He likes to take in leftovers next day for his lunches or grab a quick dollar menu item from one of the local restaurants. I'm going to use this board, as I said, and I'm going to start writing down some lunch ideas and brainstorming. I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow and to BJ's to do my bi-weekly shopping. I have a bunch of things to pick up, mostly produce and pantry staples. I don't really need any meats other than my whole chicken for Sunday. My husband will take in to work on Monday some leftover chicken for a chicken sandwich. The rest of the leftover chicken, I will be making either a casserole or soup. And I have soup down on the menu board. On the weekends, I don't menu plan lunches too often or at all because we like to do hamburgers and hot dogs when it's nice out or we have some kind of quick soup or some kind of quick deli meat sandwich. I have a book here where I'm going to write down all my ideas with my pen before I put it onto my board. Today is the 25th. My kid's having lunch at their boyfriend, so I don't have to worry about Jacqueline. Isabel is so efficient when they're hungry, they will eat. The 26th is a Saturday. Twenty seventh is a Sunday. Twenty eighth is a Monday. Twenty nine is Tuesday. The thirtieth is a Wednesday. First is a Thursday. Second is a Friday. Third is a Saturday. Sunday. The fourth, fifth is a Monday, okay, I'm going to plan lunches up until the 10th. We will be home for lunch Saturday. We don't check into the resort until 4 p.m. So we'll probably have lunch meat.
I'm going to write down ramens, mac and cheese, P, B, and J. Those are their options for Friday the 9th. Mac and cheese, P, B, and J. I am going to the store tomorrow the 26th, and I'm going to be picking up lunch meat. So, Sunday, you can have sandwiches. Ramens. Or mac and cheese. It's basically going to be the same all the way through. I'm going to write down three options, the same. And they can decide which they want. I'm picking up Lunchables. So I'm going to write down lunch meat. Bread. Bananas. Lettuce. Lunchables. I'm going to get some Uncrustables. Or something different. Switch to the menu board now. We're in June. And tonight is pizza night. I can cross off. The 25th. Tomorrow we're having an eye round. And then Sunday a whole check-in, which I'm buying tomorrow at our bulk store. I'm going to start planning lunches from the 27th on. The 27th. 28th. I was just going to bring leftover chicken to work. The kids are going to have sandwiches. And I'll put at the bottom Raymond's or mac and cheese. The 27th, also sandwiches. Uncrustable. And Lunchables. And we'll put ramens, mac and cheese. Always an option. I buy the cups so they're nice and quick. Tuesday, I think. Which is the 29th. Let's do mac and cheese. And then here I'll put Uncrustables. Ramens. I buy the ramens by the case. My husband always brings in leftovers, but Tuesday he'll bring in the leftover soup. Wednesday, he'll buy lunch because he doesn't eat leftover pork and there's never any leftovers. The kids can have P, B, and J. And I'll put down lunch bowls, mac, and cheese as an option. That's the 30th. Planning lunch is a lot harder than planning dinner because I normally don't because they're at school. And my husband always just brings in leftovers or buys on days we don't have the leftovers. My kids get a free lunch 
at school. We were getting free lunches in the summertime, but I think that stopped because the pandemic is slowly going away. So starting with the 27th, we have sandwiches and crustables and lunchables with Raymond's or mac and cheese as an alternative. My husband will bring in leftovers, chicken, and the kids will have sandwiches with, again, mac and cheese and ramens for an alternative. The 29th, mac and cheese, my husband will bring in leftover soup. Or they can have um, crustables, lunch bowls, or ramens. The 30th, KB and j my husband will buy that day with the alternate lunches available. It's set up like a school lunch board. And then the first, my husband will bring in leftover spaghetti. And I have uncrustables or lunch bowls written down for lunch. Then mac and cheese or ramens if they don't want what's listed. These are my mac and cheese cups. I have quite a bit of them. We just bought a whole bunch. These are the ramens that I have. I buy them by the case. I have an extra mac and cheese cup in here. And I have some of the soup cups that my kids also like, especially my teen. I am going to need bread because it's getting low. These are some of the snacks that we have. Our cookies, our chips, little snack packs, crackers, cheese crackers, granola bars. That's the snack bin. I feel pretty good with the lunches that I planned for my children. My kids are extremely picky. They don't like canned soup or any of the traditional stuff that I grew up with in the 70s. I have my list that I'll add on to my phone for my groceries for tomorrow when we go over to ShopRite, Walmart, and BJ's. We usually do three stores to stay in budget. I just showed you all the snack bins and we're fully stocked with ramens and mac and cheese cups. So I only have to pick up the uncrustables and some lunch meat, bread, and lettuce and a cucumber, and the other items that I need, like the whole chicken and pantry staples. I hope that this lunch menu will help you. Keep in mind, every family is different. Not every family eats the same thing. It's not always going to be super healthy. We are not super healthy people. We do eat healthy but we like easy at the same time. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and watching me all the way to the end. Everyone who views and watches every single day, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone's support. This was my first time doing an actual meal plan for lunches. We usually just wing it, but I want to plan because I want to know what I'm spending and reduce my spending with the extra groceries coming into the household because the kids are home this summer. And I'm gonna use what I have on hand and not buy as much just like I did with my freezer reset. If you are new here, my subscribe guide just popped up. He is directing everyone to click on that like button, so go ahead and smash it. If you just view and haven't subscribed yet, I hope this is the video that'll get you to subscribe. He's also directing you to the subscribe word down below so go ahead and click on it and don't forget to tap on that bell because youtube will notify you when i upload more videos